Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy the given exponential equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start by expressing 9, 4, and 6 in terms of their prime factors. Now, we know that 9 is 3 squared, and this is raised to power x. 4 is 2 squared. And this is also raised to power x. And 6 is 2 times 3. And both numbers are raised to power 3. Of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, to open the bracket, what we do is to multiply both powers. So here we have 4 times 3 to power 2x plus 3 times 2 to the power 2x and this is equal to 13 times 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x. Now you can see that we have two different bases. We have base 3 and we have base 2. So what we are going to do is to let 2 to the power x be equal to u while 3 to the power x is equal to v. With these two substitutions, this equation is now going to be 4v squared. Because remember that 3 to the power 2x is exactly equal to 3 to the power x squared from our laws of indices. Plus 3 times u squared and this is equal to 13 times u v now let us rearrange this quadratic equation we have 3 u squared minus 13 u v plus 4 v squared is equal to 0 we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization using the table method. The factors of 3u squared are 3u and u, while the factors of 4v squared are v and 4v. But because of this negative sign, let us make this minus v and minus 4v because of course you know that minus v times minus 4v is going to give us plus 4v squared. Now, 3u times minus 4v is going to give us minus 12uv while u times minus v is going to give us minus uv. And of course, minus 12 uv plus minus uv is going to give us minus 13 uv so we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are 3 u minus v and u minus 4 v and of course this is equal to zero now when we have a statement like this it simply means that either 3u minus v is equal to 0 or u minus 4v is equal to 0. And from here we have that 3u is equal to v. And dividing both sides of this equation by u, we have that 3 is equal to v over u. Now from here we have that u is equal to 4 v. Once more, dividing both sides of this equation by u, we have that 1 is equal to 4v over u. And of course, v over u is equal to 1 over 4. And now that we have calculated v over u to be equal to 3 or 1 over 4, we come back to these substitutions. Now we have that v over u is equal to 3 to power x divided by 2 
bar x. And of course, since these two have the same exponent, we can combine them in this manner. And from here, we have that either 3 over 2 to power x is equal to 3. Or 3 over 2 to power x is equal to 1 over 4. So you can see how we have reduced this original equation to these two much simpler equations. Now to solve this equation, we have to take log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that log 3 over 2 to power x is equal to log 3. The next step to solving this equation is to apply the power rule of log readings. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent x to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have x times log 3 over 2 is equal to log 3. And of course, to find the value of x, we have to divide both sides of this equation by log 3 over 2. So we have that x is equal to log 3 divided by log 3 over 2. In the second case, we do exactly the same thing. We take log of both sides of the equation. We have log 3 over 2 to power x is equal to log 1 over 4. Once more, we apply the power rule. And we have that x log 3 over 2 is equal to log 1 over 4. And dividing both sides of this equation by log 3 over 2, we have that x is equal to log 1 over 4 divided by log 3 over 2. So now we have calculated two values of x that satisfy the given exponential equation. x is equal to log 3 divided by log 3 over 2. And x is equal to log 1 over 4 divided by log 3 over 2. Of course, you know that if we apply the change of base formula for log readings to these two values of x, we can write them as x is equal to log to base 3 over 2 of 3. That is log to base 3 over 2 of 3. And in this case, x is equal to log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4. Now, if you would like to check whether these two values of x actually satisfy the given exponential equation, the easiest way to do it is to first of all divide through this equation by 4 raised to power x. That is, we have 4 times 9 raised to power x over 4 raised to power x plus 3. Because of course, 4 raised to power x divided by 4 raised to power x is equal to 1. And this is equal to 13 times 6 raised to power x divided by 4 raised to power x. Now, of course, we can write this as 4 times 3 over 2 raised to power 2x. Because remember, 9 is 3 squared and 4 is 2 squared. And 2 times x is equal to 2x plus 3. And this is equal to 13 multiplied by 6 over 4 to power x. Of course, you know that we can write this as 4 times 3 over 2 to power x squared plus 3. And this is equal to 13 times. We can reduce this fraction. We can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. When we do that, we have 3 over 2. And this is raised to power x. Now, in this form, we can substitute both values of x. When we substitute the first value of x, this equation becomes 4 multiplied by 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 3 
all squared plus 3. And this is equal to 13 times 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 3. But then let us remember that a to the power log to base a, this and this are the same, of b is simply equal to b. So 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 3 is simply equal to 3. So here we have 4 times 3 squared plus 3. And in this case, exactly the same thing happens. 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 3 is equal to 3. So here we have 13 multiplied by 3. Now, 3 squared is 9 times 4. We have 36 plus 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. And of course, we know that 36 plus 3 is equal to 39. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And for the second value of x, we have 4 times 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4, all squared plus 3. And this is equal to 13 multiplied by 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4. Once more, we go back to this identity. We have that 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4 is simply equal to 1 over 4. So this is 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 squared plus 3. And this is equal to once more, exactly the same thing happens. 3 over 2 to the power log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4. So this is 13 multiplied by 1 over 4. Now 1 over 4 squared is 1 over 16. So we have 4 over 16. But 4 over 16 is equal to 1 over 4. Then plus 3. Now, 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So we have 13 over 4. Here, 13 multiplied by 1 over 4 is equal to 13 over 4. So once more, you can see that the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of this equation when x is equal to log to base 3 over 2 of 1 over 4. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.